Hello friends, welcome to the iPhone Photography channel. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to achieve better images in difficult backlit scenes with just your iPhone using raw HDR bracket merging and Luminar Neo. In case you didn't know, last year, Skylum released an HDR merging extension for Luminar Neo called HDR Merge, which we're going to be using in today's video. As always, to capture the iPhone raw HDR brackets, we're going to be using Aura HDR camera app, which is available in the Apple App Store. This app is built for HDR and allows you to shoot both raw and JPEG brackets with very little effort. So the method of taking the HDR is similar to the previous video. We're going to be using the high quality raw bracket shooting mode Though you could also use just the normal raw bracket shooting. In case you're wondering, the difference is high quality raw bracket shooting is really meant for low light shooting with a tripod and it's designed to achieve images with the lowest possible ISO. So it's really built for low light shooting. But we don't have the problem here. The scene is very bright and the ISO is low. So as you can see in this scene, the sun is still bright in the sky and it's causing our foreground to be severely underexposed. So once you've taken the shot, this will result in three exposures, which are each separated by two stops. Our HDR also supports four exposures, but for most cases, three exposures is fine and more practical, especially when each file is a raw file which contains a lot of data individually. So the next step would be to transfer the exposures to your computer via AirDrop or any method you use to transfer the photo. And then we can use Luminar Neo to merge the exposures. So let's do that now. All right, here we are in Luminar Neo. The first step that we need to do is to import the photos. We can do that by just adding in the folder. So we just click on File then add folder with images and I have the folder right here and I'll just add the folder and you see that the folder appears here under the folders section and now we have the three images which are separated by two stops okay so this was the bright image this is the normal exposure and this is the dark exposure. Let's just go back to the catalog here. So once you have the three exposures, all we need to do is to drag it into this HDR merge box here. Now this HDR merge box will appear only if you bought Luminar Neo with the extensions pack, because there is a version of Luminar Neo without the extensions, which, which costs around $99. So if you wish to have HDR merging, you have to buy Luminar Neo with the extensions, uh, which costs around 179 US dollars. All right, so make sure to get Luminar Neo with extensions. Let's drag these three images here, just select them and just drag it into HDR Merge. And then just click Merge here. All right, so the merge is done and it will appear in this folder called HDR Merge. So I'm just going to double click that and it looks fine. You can see it looks very natural and it does recover the detail in all three exposures. So we're now seeing detail in our highlights as well as our shadow area. But we can edit this further with Luminar's very useful tools. So let's just do that. All right, so let's just edit this and make it stand out a little bit more. We start off by let's just use the enhance option here and then we can just increase the accent here. We can just drag the accent slider which will do some automatic adjustment and you can see how nicely it brings the detail in the shadows and the highlights with just one slide. So very easy to use. Then we can also use the sky enhancer to lower the exposure of the sky. And then some other things we could do here, we could use this structure structure slider here in order to put more detail, enhance the local contrast and make the image pop a little bit more. So we don't want to overdo anything. The task 
for this processing is to make it look as natural as possible. Let's look at the develop panel here. See if we can just reduce the highlights. Okay, I don't think that really works, so let's just keep that. So that's looking pretty good with very nice color and detail. But as a final step, why don't we just add a little bit of sharpness into the image? And we can use AI to do that with Luminar's super sharp extension. So we're just going to go over here, just set that to high. So let's now do the comparison. This was the before and the after. So do check out Aura HDR on the App Store. It's the easiest way to get RAW or JPEG brackets and has a ton of powerful features. Best of all, if you purchase Aura HDR, you help support this channel and keep the tutorials coming. So till the next video, happy iPhone HDR shooting, and I'm going to be seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.